The last couple of loaves have been mediocre. So this time I'm gonna change it up just slightly. I've been feeding my starter. Um, I took it out Wednesday night and I fed it Thursday and then I fed it again Friday. And then I fed it, fed it twice on Friday and then I fed it around early this morning. So now it's around, around 10 o'clock. So I think it should be okay. The uh, starter is a little bit drier. So this one I'm gonna do like 75% hydration. I don't think I'm gonna do it um, as moist as the others. So. Warmed my water up. I feel that keeping the water like right around body temperature, right around human temperature is like 98.6, right? So I try to do more or less right around 100 degrees to keep it warm. Because I mean, today, let's make a note of the weather. A cold front passed through about seven, eight hours ago. Real severe thunderstorm for like an hour or two. Real nice storm. Right now it's 60 degrees. It's April, when I'm recording this, it's April 29th, Saturday, April 29th. And it's 60 degrees. Uh, it's sort of humid outside, but it is cool. So I don't know how that's gonna affect everything. It's about, I mentioned that because it's a little bit cool in the house, but just because it's cool outside. So having it warm, I can feel that it's just slightly warmer than my skin, which is, I think it's fine. Warmth is our friend in this case because we want it warm so that way when I add the starter, it, it actually expands and it grows the way it's supposed to. Putting the first step together used to like be this very long, arduous process, but the auto lease now, I think, if I can, if I can just like uh, mix it for about three to five minutes by hand, that's it. That's all it needs. The second step, when I add the starter, that's when it needs a little more attention. But I found just a little bit, just to get it to a a, a good consistency, like so it feels like dough, and make sure all of this flour gets taken up. Feels good. Holding together right already. Holds together well, so just going to cover it and then we'll be back in an hour at our salt and starter and uh, process has already started so I think it um, like I said it's gonna be a little bit drier I'm gonna do 75% hydration 75 76 percent hydration I think that'll help a lot with keeping it together and that way when it when it bakes tomorrow it'll grow up instead of out I don't want to I don't want a, a UFO I want a tower so that doesn't make any sense but whatever sit for an hour all right it's been an hour Measuring. No, I don't need. starter. I fed it 
about uh, nine hours ago now. Beat this thing up for about five minutes. It's holding together really well. Has a nice odor to it now that it has a starter in it. So, still a little bit jiggly, which is good. Holds its holds its shape a little bit better, which is what I want. Like I said, lower hydration. I've had better luck with about 75 to 78 percent hydration, so I'm putting this around 77. Or no, I'm sorry, 76. It, 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 it's a percentage, but it does make a difference. So let it sit for an hour, and then we'll work on our folds. fold in it smells good it has a nice jiggle to it doesn't feel too wet I think it's in good shape um, just let it rest for an hour all right looking good it's already looking really smooth that's nice stretch is really nice I can feel some air bubbles in there done one more fold to go Third fold looks good, everything feels pretty nice. Rolled into a ball, I want to see it grow a little bit. The next step in about an hour is going to be shaping and then putting it in for proof. Thank you. 
probably my favorite part. It's nice, it's kind of airy. It's not, I wouldn't say it's like super airy, but it is, it is pretty nice. I'm gonna fold it. Now, building some tension in here. I'm gonna roll it sort of like a loaf. I have this more of an oblong um, shape in here. That feels good. That feels really good. Okay. So, take it face down. Got some air bubbles in there. That's nice. All right. So, there you go. Looks good. Um, I feel pretty confident about this one. I got the, uh, the oven preheated for proof. So, I'm going to cover it and, uh, with a shower cap and proof it. I think it got a good rise this time. It feels better. It's hollow in the middle, good ears. I think we're okay. Looks good, smells good. It's a nice taste and texture to it, so I think letting it sit for a little while longer and also um, toasting it is gonna really make it make it taste really good. So it's so 53rd loaf, I think, so there we go.